Hi, my name is Craig Esbeck, and I work for Mango Tree's Northern Uganda Literacy Program. This video will outline the model that provides the foundation for the work we do in early primary classrooms in the Lango subregion. To understand Mango Tree's literacy model, the best place to start is at the end. What do I mean by this? Here, let me explain. As teachers, you are going to spend a year with a classroom full of young children. You will be leading them on a journey of learning. But what is your destination? In Mango Tree's model, the destination is the five big ideas of literacy. You will learn about the five big ideas in another video, but let's quickly outline the five big ideas here. The five big ideas of literacy instruction are phonemic awareness, alphabetic principle, fluency, vocabulary, and comprehension. Now let's quickly review these five basic skills. Phonemic awareness is the ability to hear and manipulate sounds in words. Alphabetic principle is the ability to connect sounds with letters and use these sounds to form words. Fluency is the ability to read words in connected texts with accuracy and speed. Vocabulary is the ability to understand and use words to make meaning. Comprehension is the complex thinking process that involves both the reader and text to make meaning. So, the journey with your pupils will end with each pupil having made a significant improvement in their ability to master these five fundamental literacy skills. Now that we know our destination, the next question becomes, how do we get there? Historically, there have been two main paths or approaches that teachers have taken to help pupils become literate. The first we will call the bottom-up approach. We call it bottom-up because it starts with letters and gradually works its way up to syllables, words, sentences, paragraphs, and finally, stories. Some educators refer to this path as phonics. In Uganda, teachers may be familiar with jolly phonics, which uses a bottom-up approach very successfully. A second path we call the top-down approach. One challenge that teachers have with a bottom-up approach is that letters, syllables, and even individual words are not very interesting or meaningful to children. And since reading is fundamentally about making meaning, some literacy teachers decided that a better place to start was at the top with stories. After pupils get interested in and involved in the stories, the teacher can gradually address the other parts of text paragraphs, sentences, words, syllables, and letters. Some educators refer to this path as whole language. Breakthrough to Literacy, or BTL, is a top-down approach that was piloted in Uganda. At Mango Tree, we saw the benefits in both these approaches, and so we decided to include both top-down and bottom-up approaches in our literacy lessons every day. We're not alone. Many others have decided to also combine approaches. So a third path has emerged. It goes by many names, but we call it the integrated approach. Let's look at how our integrated approach gets translated into the classroom every day. We teach reading and writing every day. The first literacy lesson of the day we call Story Reading Time. It is a top-down lesson. The pupils read a story with the teacher. The focus is on reading fluency, vocabulary, and comprehension. The second literacy lesson of the day is Creative Writing Time. It is a top-down writing lesson. Pupils write their own stories based on the keyword of the week. 
Again, the focus is on writing fluency, vocabulary, and comprehension. The pupils also practice speaking competences as they read their stories to the class every day. After this lesson, pupils go for a much needed break. The third and final local language literacy lesson of the day is word building time. It is a bottom-up lesson. Both reading and writing competences are addressed in this lesson. Pupils are introduced to a new letter sound every week and build words from letters and syllables. The focus is on handwriting, letter sound correspondence, decoding skills, and spelling. So, now that you know that you are leading your pupils to competence in the five big ideas, and that in order to reach this destination, you will take the path we call the integrated approach. The next question you may have is, but what do I have to do every day to move along this path as efficiently as possible? First of all, the Mango Tree Teacher's Guide is like a map that provides you with all the guidance you need for every lesson of every day of the school year. There is no risk of getting lost along the way. We also provide regular benchmarks for the reading and writing so that you will know if you are moving at the right pace. We also have three teaching methods that are used in almost all our lessons. We want you to be familiar with these three methods so that you understand our daily lessons well and can even use these methods when you teach other subjects. But first, what do we mean by a teaching method? If a teaching approach is the path we decide to take to reach our learning destination, then a method is the vehicle you decide to use on any given day. One day, you may decide to use a lorry, the next day a train, and the third day a bus. In other words, methods are the teaching techniques and strategies you use on a daily basis to help your pupils make progress toward the five big ideas. With this understanding, let's look at Mango Tree's three basic teaching methods. Method one. We learn by doing. Experiments on learning and memory have demonstrated that we remember only about 20% of the information we receive through hearing alone. We remember about 40% of the information we both see and hear. But we remember 80% or more of the information we see, hear, and interact with in a meaningful way. Therefore, we make our mango tree lessons as participatory as possible. We know that children will learn more if they participate in the lesson. Method two we call, I do, we do, you do. In our model, the teacher always demonstrates for children how to do the steps in a task they will be expected to perform, I do. Next, the teacher asks the pupils to do the task with her. We do. Finally, the teacher asks the pupils, as a group or individually, to perform the task on their own. You do. Method three, from simple to complex. Our daily and weekly lesson format is designed so that pupils begin the week with a simple reading or writing task to accomplish. As the lesson unfolds over the course of the day and the week, the teacher continues to add complexity to the original task introduced on the first day. By the end of the week, the pupils are able to comfortably accomplish a much more complex reading or writing task. So, that is our literacy model. We could implement this model in the US, in Uzbekistan, or in Uganda, but for each country we would have to make changes to fit the culture and the context. Here are some of the modifications we've made for Uganda. We've already talked about one. 
The Ministry of Education and Sports provides three 30-minute periods per day for local language instruction in P1 through P3. This is a generous amount of time and we've already talked about how we make use of it. The ministry also has a thematic curriculum for P1 to P3. All our literacy lessons integrate the theme and the sub-theme for the week. The ministry uses a competency-based, continuous assessment model for measuring pupils' performance. We think this is great and have designed a comprehensive assessment model for teachers, parents, and school administrators that supports the ministry's assessment policies. Finally, all our instructional materials are low-cost, teacher and pupil friendly, and easy to replicate locally. So, that's an overview of Mango Tree's instructional model. If you have any further questions, you can go to our website, www.mangotreeuganda.org, where you can read more about the work we're doing in early primary literacy in Uganda. Thanks for listening.